It's 2021. It's the beginning of a new year. So I guess you could say this is my obligatory things I want to bring into the new year, aka my 2021 intentions. There are many things I want to bring into the new year, but in light of many years of trying to st set strict goals for myself each year and feeling the weight of not crossing them all off by the end of the year, I want to try something different and focus on ongoing intentions to carry out through the year to help keep me in check. So here are a few things I want to keep in mind as 2021 progresses. I'm usually a really outdoorsy person, but with 2020's craziness of COVID and starting my business, I've started to neglect important things in my life, like taking breaks throughout my work days to get some fresh air with my pups. Yeah, put um, this fence up. Only it's not done all the way you can see. Um, but we did a good amount of it. Still need to do the other side. Instead of letting them just run around in the backyard while I fit in a few more minutes of It's only about 4.30, maybe 5 over here, and it is this dark right now. I love the outdoors and adventuring, taking in the fresh air, and I know they do too. Taking in each season with gratitude and appreciating those little changes around me. I've always struggled with work-life balance. So I want to be more intentional with how I spend my time. 2020 forced me to slow down a bit and it helped me realize how important and helpful it is to learn when to put down my work and enjoy the presence of others around me, especially the close relationships I have to help nurture healthy, balanced relationships. In 2020, I really enjoyed dinners together. It's a nice, lax activity to enjoy with others. Plus, you learn a lot about someone by food alone. After taking on clients, I didn't spend as much time in the kitchen, and I want to fall in love with exploring food again, like veganizing tocino with mushrooms and making calamari with hearts of palm. Food is a huge part of why I started and got into filming, so I want to keep that love and curiosity alive. I also want to make progress of taking care of my health and skin. Whether that's eating better or being active, I want to really prioritize that without restricting myself from the simple joys in life. Fried food isn't going to kill you, and taking a break isn't going to decline my progress. Slow and steady does the race. I also want to be better with how critical I am with myself and others around me. It's okay to adjust your way of life and thinking. You can pick out the meat when cooking together, and it's okay to enjoy dinners in the living room instead of dinners in the dining room. A little change of scenery doesn't hurt and learning to adapt to the things you cannot change around you shows resilience. Continue to form healthy, sustainable habits and routines to help keep me in check. I'm a creature of habit and I found that even though I'm very impulsive, I love consistency. Creating a good, sustainable foundation for myself will help set me up for my future. Taking on clients forced me to stop creating for myself. I think it's very important to have a healthy give and take relationship with your work and hobbies. So this year, I'm readopting done is better than perfect because when you put things into action, whether it's good or bad, you still make progress. I took on about 20 plus projects this year and only a handful for myself. I'm learning to embrace that 80-20 rule so I don't burn myself out this year. Everyone knows I'm a pretty clean person. I love going to sleep to a clean and tidy home, but even more in the morning. I don't know, it just feels good to my soul. But I'd like to remind myself to try and clean at least one new area a week or even month. That way things start clean, not just tidy. also been planning again and logging my time to help me understand my day better. I've really been enjoying it. I do this all digitally, but if I need to, it's okay to go analog and use paper. My planning and journaling system should be enjoyable, not stressful. Well, that's that. I love 
love to know what your intentions for 2021 are. Do you set goals, intentions, or maybe both? Let me know in the comments because I genuinely am curious. I'll be sharing one of your responses in the next video. I want you guys to know your support doesn't go unnoticed and I truly appreciate it.